Ryan Sutter is opening up about his battle with Lyme disease. The former Bachelorette winner explains to people that he is now in a much better place after two years of fighting the illness. When it was bad, I couldn't do anything. It was like even just go for a walk with him or, you know, we didn't go camping at all when I wasn't feeling well and that sort of stuff that we would do um, fairly regularly as a family. I, I didn't ski at all, n nothing. And so now I've actually gotten a lot of that back. Max and I have gone on bike rides and stuff together. We, I got to ski with both my kids this ski season. Um, hopefully we'll get a camping trip planned sooner or later, but that is more just busy schedule life rather than yeah, not feeling well life and dealing with the Lyme and that sort of stuff. Um, I feel better in a lot of different areas. At work, I feel like I have more energy at home, I feel like I have more energy. I don't go to bed at eight o'clock at night and get up at eight o'clock in the morning anymore. And so I'm back to getting up early and, and sitting on the porch and having coffee. And so a lot of the life that I used to lead prior to having this um, come into my life is coming back. And, and that is really encouraging. Ryan knows now that his Lyme disease was triggered by being around mold toxins through his work as a firefighter. But it took a long time for he and his wife, Trista, to find a doctor who could provide a diagnosis and treatment options. It is such a challenge to try to find one, a doctor. I'm fortunate to have found a general practitioner, a traditional medical doctor who is really open-minded and supportive of this stuff. So yeah. he has helped me get all of the tests necessary work with another functional medical doctor to find uh, to, to find the diagnosis in the first place. And then um, it, it became communication between me and all of them and these tests and trying to figure out what the next course of action was. And, and, like, and like Trista alluded to, once you get out of the mainstream medical side of things, then you're on your own dime. And so your insurance isn't covering it anymore. And that's, that becomes a real consideration when you're starting to spend thousands of dollars a month on your health. Not only uh, like are the symptoms not as black and white, but it the, the care that is given to these people, like you almost feel invisible because there are people in the medical industry who don't want to validated. I mean, the first doctor that we went to, I was like, can we test him for Lyme disease? And he basically said, no, I mean, in a roundabout way. And then two years later, we end up, you know, having him be diagnosed with Lyme disease. And it's just, I know that that comes with everything. Really, you have to find the right fit. You have to find the right doctor. But I feel like more so, with Lyme disease, with autoimmune illnesses, it's really hard to find answers. After trying numerous treatments, Ryan says pursuing alternative medicine, namely bee venom therapy, has worked best for him. The bee venom works twofold in continuing to help strengthen your immune system while also pulling out the, um, the Lyme bacteria and killing it. And so then you get what's called the Herx reaction is that bacteria, the Lyme kills the bacteria, it's still in your body as a toxin. And sometimes you'll feel that as sort of flu-like symptoms. Um, but knowing that is actually comforting because then you know that the bee venom is actually doing something. And then that's yeah. where the sauna comes into play where you can detoxify that stuff out of your system. Yeah. And it's just this repeated cycle as you're kind of like cleaning out your system, building strength in your immune system so that it can start to um, fight stuff off more efficiently. Getting answers and finding treatment has made it easier for the father of two to keep his kids in the loop. For a long time, we didn't know what was going on. And so right. yeah. that part, we were just sort of, Tristan and I were trying to just navigate that process. And then um, when we started to figure some things out, they've, like you said, they've figured out most of it themselves. It was difficult when I, you know, I would go to bed super early or I would always be tired or always be sleeping. You know, they, uh, they obviously knew something was wrong. When I got the Lyme diagnosis, they didn't really know what that was. I mean, I didn't really know what that was. And so we've kind of, we've kind of just assured them or reassured them that this, it's not like, this is not a life or death thing. I don't, you know, I'm not like going to die next week or something like, 
it's just something that I've got to deal with from time to time and they are pretty understanding of it. So my, my daughter, especially, she, um, I think keeps a, an eye on me to make sure I'm doing okay. And then Max just kind of goes about his life. Now, Ryan is back to work firefighting as he continues his battle with Lyme disease, but he admits he wouldn't be where he is without the support of his wife. I've leaned on her more than I generally um, like to lean on people. You know, I think I, I spent the majority of my first 45 years of life trying to build a level of resilience that would make me sort of not dependent on anyone else's um, help. And I've, I've had to learn to be a little, I'd have, I've had to learn to accept people's help. And so that's been a benefit of having gone through this, that I'm not re as reluctant to take her help as in this particular case. Anytime you go through adversity with someone, whether it's your wife or your kids or your football team or whatever, your relationship gains strength. And, and that certainly I think has happened with ours. Um, I would say that we've never been in a better place. You know, we're not perfect. Do we have our bad days as a couple? Yes, we have our bad days, but I think um, this has shown us that we can, we can get through the hard stuff. We have a strong foundation and, and even though we know that the future will have more bad days, hopefully not really bad ones and we can overcome. Um, but I think just, I, I, I'm proud of our relationship. For more on Ryan and Trista Sutter, pick up this week's issue of People on Newsstands Friday.